Hey everyone! In this video, we're going to learn how to create beautiful gradients using CSS. Gradients add smooth color transitions that make your website look modern, vibrant, and stylish. We'll explore linear gradient, radial gradient, and conic gradient, repeating gradients, gradient animations, gradient overlays, gradient text, and even gradient borders. So, let's jump right in and make your designs colorful and creative. Let's start with the linear gradient. A linear gradient creates a smooth color transition between two or more colors in a straight line. In the linear class, set the background to linear gradient red, blue. You'll see it smoothly transition from red to blue. By default, it goes from top to bottom. You can also use multiple colors. For example, here I've set orange, yellow, and sky blue to create a three color gradient. You can use color names hex codes, or any valid CSS color. You can control the direction of the gradient, top to bottom, left to right, or even diagonally. For example, to right makes the colors move from left to right. Always remember, all colors and directions inside the gradient function are separated by commas. Changing it to to bottom right moves the gradient from the top left corner to the bottom right corner. You can set any direction or corner this way. You can also use angles to control the direction. For example, 45 degrees creates a gradient at a 45 degree angle from bottom left to top right. Changing it to 245 degrees rotates the gradient in a different direction. You can even use negative angles to reverse the direction. You can also control how much space each color takes using color stop positions. For instance, setting orange from 0% to 20% keeps it solid in that range. Then set yellow from 40% to 60%, and sky blue from 80% to 100%. Each color appears solid in its area before blending into the next. The first, 0%, and last, 100% values are optional. CSS fills them automatically. If two colors share the same stop position, you'll get solid color blocks without blending. Let's create a repeating linear gradient. A repeating linear gradient makes a pattern of colors that repeats in a straight line instead of blending just once. You can adjust the color stops to control how often the pattern repeats. By default, it goes from top to bottom, but you can change the direction to any angle, even negative degrees. Now, let's use it to make a beautiful card design. By adding the first color again at the end, you'll get a smooth, repeating pattern that looks amazing. The entire design is created using just a repeating linear gradient. Without color stops, you can't create a repeating gradient. Here, I'll set the first color to red and the second to an RGBA value also red. This creates a solid, single-color background. Then, I'll reduce the opacity of the RGBA color to make the gradient fade from dark to light. As the color becomes more transparent, the gradient appears lighter, and the background becomes visible. And if there's an image behind it, it will show through. You can easily create this kind of soft fade effect using a linear gradient with RGBA colors. Let's create a radial gradient. In the radial class, add a radial gradient. You'll see it appear by default as an elliptical shape. You can make it a perfect circle using circle at center, which creates a smooth, centered, circular gradient. Using circle at bottom moves it to the bottom center, and you can adjust the position however you like. You can also add color stops, just like in a linear gradient. Each color stays solid before blending into the next. You can even set custom positions using X and Y values, like 90%, 10%, to control where the gradient starts. Now, let's explore different gradient shapes. Using closest side at 100 pixels, 100 pixels, the gradient starts from that point and stops at the closest side of the container. Changing it to closest corner makes it expand to the nearest corner. Setting it to farthest side spreads it to the farthest side, creating a wide elliptical look. Finally, farthest corner expands to the farthest corner, giving a large, smooth, circular gradient. You can also add color stops to farthest corner for a soft, beautiful elliptical gradient. You can also make a repeating radial gradient using the position. 
It expands outward and forms multiple circular layers, creating a stylish ripples or glowing rings. Repeating color stops create solid circular rings, and when two colors share the same position, the rings appear solid. Adding the first color again at the end creates a soft, glowing finish, just like a moonlight effect. Now let's create a conic gradient. In the conic class, add a conic gradient. You'll see a beautiful circular gradient with a solid center point. The colors flow clockwise around the center. A conic gradient creates a circular color transition around a central point, like slices of a pie. If you set the border radius to 10 pixels, it becomes a square. You can use degrees for color stops. When two colors share the same position, it creates a solid section. You can also use percentages for stops, which work the same way. If the stops don't match, the colors blend smoothly into each other. Try setting the direction to 45 degrees at 10%, 10%. This creates a solid, kite-shaped section. Removing stops and changing the axis gives a 45-degree gradient at 40%, 60%. Using the first color again at the end makes the gradient smooth without a hard line. Finally, centering the gradient creates a soft, circular conic effect. Conic gradients look really awesome, especially in circular shapes. Now let's create gradient text. Gradient text is text that shows a smooth transition of colors instead of a single color. In the dot gradient text class, add some basic styles and set the text color to yellow. You'll see the yellow text appear. Next, add a linear gradient background at 90 degrees using orange, dark pink, and sky blue. This creates a colorful gradient behind the text. To make the gradient show only inside the text, use background clip text, and for browser support, also add dash webkit background clip text. You'll see the background clipped within the text shape, but the text still looks yellow because the solid color is covering the gradient. To fix that, set the text color to transparent. Now you'll have a modern, colorful effect that makes your headings and designs stand out, and it only takes a few lines of CSS. Let's create a gradient overlay on an image. A gradient overlay is a semi-transparent layer placed on top of an image to add depth, focus, or a color effect. First, in the Dot Hero class, add some basic styles for the image. Then, add this background property, Background Linear Gradient. You'll now see a soft gradient overlay. Next, add the image URL in the same line with the gradient using linear gradient and URL. For example, use an image from pixum.photos. Now you'll see a beautiful gradient overlay on the image. You can also create overlays with radial gradients for different effects. Now I will change the image for your better experience. This technique gives your image a smooth, professional look and makes text on top easier to read all with just one line of CSS. Let's create a gradient border button. A gradient border adds a smooth color transition instead of a solid border. Start by adding some basic styles to your dot button class. Then create a colon colon after element with empty content. Position it absolutely, set its width and height to 100%, give it the same border radius as the button, and add a solid red background. This red background will cover the button, so move it behind using Z-index, minus 1. Now you'll see the red layer sitting behind the button. Next, replace the solid color with a gradient background on the colon colon after element, but you'll notice the gradient appears inside the button. To fix that, add padding. 5 pixels to the button to create space for the gradient border. Now you have a beautiful gradient border. To make it even more stylish, add a hover effect. Change the text color to white and add a box shadow with orange on the left and dark pink on the right. If the hover looks messy, just set Z index 0 on hover. That's it. You now have a modern, colorful button with a smooth gradient border and a clean hover effect. Now let's learn about animated gradients. An animated gradient is a background that moves or changes colors over time, creating a dynamic, eye-catching effect. In the animated class, add a linear gradient at 270 degrees with multiple colors and repeat the first color at the end for a smooth loop. You'll now see a colorful gradient background. Next, set background size, 300%, 300% to spread the colors for a better animation effect. Then, 
Add an animation. Gradient shift, 5 seconds linear infinite. Create keyframes for the animation. Set background position to 0%, 50% at 0%, at 100% 50% and back to 0% 50% at 100%. To learn more about CSS animations, check out our CSS animation video. This makes the gradient smoothly move back and forth across the element. For an even softer look, without tweak at the start or end, you can animate using filter. Hue rotate 360 degrees at 100%. Now you'll see a smooth, continuous animated gradient that looks beautiful and modern, perfect for cards, banners, or backgrounds without using any images.